if you are looking for a snack that is sweet, it satisfies your sweet tooth without having any guilt, and it's also high in protein, but has a good balance of your protein, healthy carbs, and healthy fats, then this video is for you. You can only snack on the quote unquote typical protein snacks so much. If you're over protein shakes and meat steaks or jerky and pieces of chicken or cottage cheese and yogurt, then this video is for you. I'm gonna share with you my secret recipe for making my strong balls. These are protein packed little snack balls that also have a great balance of healthy carbs and fats to make it a complete snack. So whether you are just hungry at 3 p.m. and want something or you want something sweet to satisfy your sweet tooth after dinner, or you're looking for something to help you fuel you through your workout, then these balls are gonna be for you. All right, let me show you what's in them and then we'll break it down into the actual recipe. Just do me a favor, this is my secret recipe, so don't share it, just hit that like button, all right, you guys? I don't want everybody out in the world making my secret family recipe. <laughs> just kidding, let's get these out there. These are so good, you're gonna make them every week for yourself and or for your family. Though most of my clients end up hiding them in the freezer so their kids can't get them because they are that good. When I was a kid, my dad did that with Reese's. So it's pretty cool that people do these with protein balls nowadays. All right, so here's what you need. Chocolate protein, you do need protein. Whatever high quality protein you prefer, Gnarly is the brand that we tend to use. That's what we've been using for years and I just keep it in here for ease. Unsalted mixed nuts. I get these from Costco, but you can get them anywhere. You don't have to have mixed nuts. You could use unsalted almonds or even peanuts or cashews, whatever you prefer. I just like the mixed nuts. Chia seeds, as you can tell, I go through a lot of chia seeds. Pecans, since they are pecan turtle balls. Chocolate chips, these are the Enjoy Life brand. You can use whatever you want. I do recommend using the mini chocolate chips though. The last thing that you absolutely need are pitted dates. And then a couple of options. I just happen to have hemp seeds, so I'm gonna use those, but you don't have to. If you have flax seeds, you can also throw those in there. Pretty much any seed or nut you want, toss it in here, it's gonna work fine. Last thing that I'm using that's also optional is a little bit of dark cocoa powder, just because this is chocolate protein, but I want it to taste fudgy chocolate, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of chocolate powder to the mix. So that's what you need. Now, let's go over what you gotta do. The first thing that I'm gonna do is actually make a caramel sauce with my dates. If you're not familiar with dates, dates are a fruit. They actually, they are not dried. It's not like a prune. This is how you find them. And when you mix it with water in a blender, it turns into like a caramelly paste. And that's what we're gonna use as our binder, but also it's what's gonna give it that classic turtle taste that we want. So I'm gonna throw about a cup and a half of these into my blender with a cup to a couple of half of water, blend it up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. In my blender, I put two cups of dates and one cup of water. I put it on the smoothie blender just to make it fast, but you can just pulse it up and down until it gets smooth. You might have to kind of wipe the sides down to get some of the chunks, but that's what it looks like. That is date caramel, and this stuff is golden. You can use water like I did. If you want to get fancy with it, you can also use coconut milk. Of course, that's going to increase the fat content, but it makes it very smooth, so rich. You can even add a little bit of vanilla to it, but we're keeping things simple today. It is just dates and water. Then, by the magic of film creation, um, I have gone ahead and turned all of those nuts into a flour. I just grounded it, just pulsed it in the blender until it was pretty smooth. I don't mind a couple of chunks, but it does help it to roll if most of the chunks are out. And that way too, you're able to get the flavors that you want to and not just a random almond. Because remember, these are pecan turtle balls, not almond turtle balls. So that's set to go too. All right, first what we're gonna do, open up my nuts, because this is one of our main bases. I also grabbed some oatmeal, which I apologize, I did not say that in the initial ingredient list. I'll make sure to put it in the ingredient list down in the description below, but we do need some oatmeal. <laughs> so I'm gonna do, I gotta turn my back for a second, two cups of oats, or of um, the nuts. There's one. You can mix this by hand, but this is one of those moments where I love having this KitchenAid blender so much. Now I'm gonna do one cup of oatmeal. Toss it in, and then we're gonna add probably 
one tablespoon. A lot of the stuff I just go by feel and go by look. In fact, I even keep a protein scooper in this bag that I normally use, which is about a quarter of a cup. Let's see. We are gonna do two tablespoons. So two tablespoons of chia seeds, and that's gonna help also bind it together as we roll it out. And then because I want them, like I said, to be a little bit extra ch uh, chocolatey, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of unsweetened special dark cocoa powder. You could always add more. You can not do that at all. They're still gonna be great. The date uh, caramel really is what adds a ton of flavor to all of this. Because I have the hemp seeds, I'm gonna use them. But like I said, you can add it or not add it. It's up to you. And I'm gonna do it with just one tablespoon. I love hemp seeds. I actually forgot that I even had these in my cabinet. But you guys, one serving, which is three tablespoons, has 10 grams of protein. So if you wanna add even more to your mix, that is fine. And then, I've got my chocolate. I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup of chocolate, and I'm just gonna eyeball that. Of the mini chocolate chips. And we can't have pecan balls without adding pecans. Or pecans, whatever you wanna call it. Comment down below, is it a pecan or is it a pecan? Now obviously I am in, well, maybe not obviously, but I'm in the South, so here they're a pecan and I'm gonna do a half a cup. You can chop them up if you want. I, again, prefer, I'm only filling it, half of my one cup mix. Um, I like them to remain pretty big, like more in halves and quarters, but you can chop them up a little bit uh, smaller if you want. Then we have our protein powder. I'm gonna put a whole cup of protein powder in. Probably not the best way to scoop this up. <laughs> oh, see, darn it. Had to wash my mouth on that one. Okay. So before I add my caramel sauce, because that is our like wet ingredient that's gonna bind it all together, I'm just going to first, and I'm just gonna kind of combine this real fast. That looks good. And then I'm gonna start just by adding in a quarter of a cup at a time and getting it until it becomes a sticky paste where it kind of balls together. And I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. So start with just a quarter. It does not take a lot, but it does take a little bit of time just for it to process and go all the way through. And it's gonna take more than a quarter of a cup. <laughs> now we're at half a cup. And I've just been doing this for so long that I feel pretty confident saying like, that was one quarter, that was two quarters. Keep it blending, it's already starting to get a little sticky. And you can hear how the change, like it changes the sound of the mixer. Ah, uh, see, now it's starting to slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna do, actually, let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna feel it out. Oh yeah, that's pretty good actually. I'm gonna add just one little bit more. And I'm gonna turn the mixer just to more of like a faster speed to get it incorporated. And then we'll it's time to start rolling already. Okay, so, you guys, I know it's like dun dun dun. What does it look like? Here's what it looks like. And when I hold it, it's like a mud texture. And it's gonna be really easy to roll. Here's another trick that will help you immensely when it comes rolling out protein balls. Anytime that you're using something like peanut butter or dates, the trick is to wet your fingers a little bit. So let me go wet my fingers a little bit. We'll roll a couple of these out. We'll do a taste test. And then you are gonna wanna go out, get these ingredients and make this yourself. Two seconds. Fingers are a little wet damp. I even have just a little thing of water here just to put on my fingers. And then I just kind of slide it together. Of course, make sure you have clean hands. And then I've got a little bowl that we'll put some protein balls in. I promise I'm not gonna make you guys sit here while I make all of these. <laughs> but you wanna make them about golf ball size. It's like, bam, there you go. Do it in. And you basically want to make sure that every ball has a couple of chocolate chips, has a couple of pecans, which that should happen anyways. It should not be an issue. 
these guys, I actually don't make them very often for myself. Here's a secret, because I do have such a sweet tooth that I can eat them in one sitting. These guys are so addicting and they really are perfect for any time of your day. When it is 9 a.m., you've already had breakfast, it's obviously not lunchtime yet, and you just need a little something to get you to lunch, this is fantastic for that. If at 3 p.m. when you are so tired, <laughs> you just wanna roll up and go to bed, instead of doing that at work, because you shouldn't take a nap at work, <laughs> grab a protein ball, help get your body energized and finish the day, or if you're on your way to the gym, you don't have time to stop by the house to pick up something to eat. These are fantastic for a pre-workout, and that's actually what most of my clients use these for, is either a pre-workout or an after-dinner little dessert. Grab two or three balls, make yourself a nice little cup of tea. Ooh, we're talking. All right, you guys, what do you think? Those are my classic strong balls. My secret recipe, shh, you're super special. Don't tell anybody you now have this recipe, but if you make it, let me know about it. Take a picture, tag me over on Instagram, at Trainer Kindle. I would love to hear what you think of this. And if you wanna hear more recipes or watch more recipes here on this channel, let me know, what should we make together next? We made sheet meals together. Now we've made my strong balls. Should we do a breakfast recipe together? I don't know. And then the last thing, if you want access to more recipes, hundreds of my recipes, Plus get help with your nutrition, taking control. You're joining my Plan Smart Eat Real program. It's an eight week small group challenge. Only 15 ladies are able to join this. I wanna keep it small and intimate so that you get the attention that you need. And all those details can be found down in the link below. So go check it out, hold your spot. It all kicks off on September 20th. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you don't miss out each week on a new video. Next week, I will be back with a fitness video. Bye guys.